Okay, so now, in theory, quick explanation. You'll tear down dimlets that are relevant to the thing you're trying to make in the dimlet workbench. Um, so I tore down a few mob dimlets and a rarity 6 dimlet, which I need because I'm making a dragon dimlet. So we can spawn a world that spawns dragons in it as if they were normal mobs. So, now that I have all of these things, I went and smacked a dragon with a syringe to get its essence. Okay. And, oh, it actually tells you if it'll work right away. Cool. So we did it right. Dimlet master, even though I have no clue what I did. Okay. So here, so here is how I've got it laid out. Um, for the most part, you can just throw anything into the recipe that you want. I'll just hover over these for you if you want to see what I've got. I'm going to make a flat world with dimensional shard ore as the floor, and it'll spawn dragons. So the only thing you really need to note about making RF tools dimensions is you put the modifiers before what you want to modify. So since I'm doing terrain flat, I want the flat terrain to be made of dimensional shard. And that's about it. If you have a structure you want to be made out of a material, you would put the material before. Yada yada, that's how it goes. Um, and it'll t give you like a warning if it's something super obvious you need to just flip around. And I've got two of these efficiency dimlets in here. One for 500%, one for 2000%. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, these just don't stack well. So 358,000. Okay, maybe it does stack well. So let's take one out, we'll take out the 500. They fixed it, okay, cool. Okay, it used to be the case where it was like super wonky and if you used the dimlet to, uh, uh, if you use too many efficiency dimlets, it just wouldn't stack well and it would actually make it more expensive to work. So yeah, now we just have to give this thing a crazy amount of power. Set the frequency to the power, it's full. It probably won't stay full. Oh, it's the creation cost that's crazy. Okay. Uh, 52 million RF a tick. Ain't no thang. Holy. That's so easy at this point. I had no idea it was actually so little. We're making 100 some. So it is half of what we're making with 5x64 and other star generators. So I guess it's a bit. But, you know, we have it with the energy core. It is actually going down. I feel like this is being bottlenecked, but technically speaking, these should back up first if something's not working. Although maybe these can't transfer that power correctly. Huh, cause this guy looks like he's maxed out. I don't know, I'll have to look into it. It is going down, which I don't think it should be. Cause 2.56 million. Oh, wait. Never mind. 12 million RF is how much we're making a tick. 12.5 ish. And this is using more than that. I just did my math wrong. So th it uses like five times as much to create the dimension right now. But we're fine. That's why we had that backlog. Boom. Dimension. Okay. And this I can't name. So we'll do transmitter one. Wait. Yeah. Oh, because I could teleport to that receiver if I wanted to. So yeah, I selected this transmitter right here, and that'll zoop us off into the other dimension and the dimension right there. So dial. Power's low. Oh, this thing needs power. Daggummit. Let's do that, and we'll eat a gold or diamond carrot for strength. Boom. Start teleportation. Insufficient power. Dead. No. <laughs> You know, I didn't put effect to none. That might... Oh! That is horrible. What effect is it? Uh. Okay, so what I forgot to do was do effect to none, which doesn't seem to have given us anything bad this time. So effect to none, and... I needed... Structures none? I thought I put structures none. I don't know how I got tendrils in here. Whatever. Okay. Oh, I 
hate that so much. What? Oh yeah, you're gonna have to get used to hearing the sound for a second here, my dude. Okay, I'll try to kill him relatively close to me. Just so I don't cause crazy lag. Oh. You put Wither on top of the lasers. Oh yeah, I did. I didn't even think that they were right there. I just knew I put the farm there. Oh well, it's fine. Boom, level 500. I think I'll call it there. I have 48 dragon hearts. Oh no. I didn't think about this one. These dropping XP. I just uh, vein mined a large amount of dimensional shard ore. And I used fortune 3. Well, because we need it, right? But. Yeah. Um, I neglected the fact that. XP drops from these things and causes lag. Will this one work? I'm curious. Boom. No, boom. Do it! Yeah. It does work. Okay, cool. So you can kind of make patterns if you want. <gasps> I forgot. Uh, nighttime. Okay. Let that one finish. Okay. Sleepy sleep. Not a blood moon for <gasps> once. Boom. Two stacks of dr awakened draconian blocks. We... I don't think we need any more until... Maybe very end game. But basically, that's a lot of awakened draconium. That is not good. Hey, we're at 1.2 trillion. And we're definitely positive on nether stars still. 46,000 at the farm. Just a few. Oh, so here's what I meant earlier when I was talking about the upgrade modifiers. If you use awakened cores instead, you get just way more bang for your buck. So, let's do the attack AoE here. Oh, I thought. So what was that 11 there? I guess 11 is just the max for this sword. I think you can definitely add more damage though. So 140 if I did all that. 140. Huh, I guess it doesn't matter, it just takes fewer of them. Alright. Wow, okay, wait, so, maybe not. Why can you add so much right. power? It holds 590 million RF. <laughs> nice. Okay, what were you saying? Right now, what is the biggest problem with imaginary time blocks? Um. Besides making them, like once you actually have them in place, what's the biggest difficulty? Besides making them. Oh, uh, nothing. You just use... I mean, I guess you can't harvest fast enough. Exactly. What if you could? <laughs> Did you set up... Okay. You used an autonomous activator, Horn of the Wild. Did you? Yeah, boy. You did? And then how do you... How are you Come planting? Here. You're using a planter? No. Um, what, where are you at? Farms? The world of the millennia. Oh, the last millennium. Okay. It's probably a good place for it. I don't even know where the portal for that is. By the others. Oh, it's that one. Okay. The purple block. So this is just a proof of concept. So it's only technically like half done. Oh, this is kind of nice, actually. Of it. I kind of like the, uh, the pitch blackness. I love that I'm able to, either. like, guess what you did. Like, just following your, your train of thought with that. I like it. Okay. Is it... Wait, the Horn of the Wild works with crop sticks? show you aren't I? How does that work? It harvests them and it doesn't take the seed off? You're kidding me. Right, do I have this thing set up? That is an interesting yeah. mechanic for that. Wow. What is the range on the Horn of the Wild? 25 by 25. Holy crap. And just for example you can like look to see how fast it's filling up this chest and this is only half of a farm. Oh, what chest? The green chest. Is it's it fast? Being pulled out really fast. Okay. So, if I had a chunk loader, I would say we could go back and check the, uh... Yeah, I mean, if you paired this with an imaginary time block, you just did a thing, by the way. You've just done a thing. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like, oof. Huh. I don't know if anyone's done that. That's real cool. 
Yeah, I mean, if all of these were grown constantly, it would just crazy stinking lag, but absurdo resources. That is impressive. Good job, sir. I oh, like that a lot. And, uh, I know how you can shut it off, too, because that's a big problem. I mean, just use a... Like, if you use an imaginary time block, you just have a tesseract and disable the tesseract attached to the house power. I mean, you could just disable the autonomous activator with redstone. Yeah, but how would you get to the, the autonomous activator if it's really bad lag? Alright, um, so I'm gonna... Oh, uh, do you have a trunk loader? I'm just gonna plop one down. There's a wireless... Wireless lever, actually. I thought there was a different thing, but there's a wireless lever. Which is just a redstone block and a lever. And then it has a frequency. Shift click on a block. Oh, you're kidding me. That's kind of nice. Random things, wireless lever. It actually connects straight to a block. Like to put a redstone signal into. Alright, I want to check out how much superior this is making. Um, probably a bit. Your hold up now is that it, um, doesn't grow the stuff fast enough. Yeah, it's like yeah. one every two seconds. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, it's bright day, which is kind of nice, actually. And mobs might spawn, but I think the time. Oh, I didn't set the time to noon forever. Whatever. We're fine. Now, can I just, like, mine this stuff? No, it just gives me the ore always. Okay, fine, whatever. Gimme. Okay, that worked a bit. Uh. Okay, so I need, instead of terrain flat, Terrain liquid store. Boom. Is it more expensive now? Anything else you no. want to grow so I can just put it in right now while I'm waiting? Um, nothing that would work smoothly in your farm because you got to remember that green, green, green chest only goes to the crafter. I know, I can change the chests. Oh, yeah. I've got a good idea too this time. I normally do it like a super inefficient way to turn the liquid into blocks, but I might have thought of a way faster way. <laughs> oh, yes. Are you in the dimension? Mm-hmm. I don't know why I have zero FPS, but I might have crashed. The, uh... The craziness that is this world made of Bolton, Bolton Medrockium. Dang it, man. Oh, if there's not, like, I need an angel block just to be able to get onto the surface now, apparently. Okay, so that. Use, like, obsidian. I don't like obsidian. Boom. Mm-hmm. How high up does this go? Oh. Wow. Okay, it's a big... Uh, it's a big world. Ender thermic pump. Throw a tesseract on top of that. Give it some power. It's just receiving, right? Yeah, I still need another uh, 1,500. Uh, uh, there. Okay, what'd you say? You need 1,500 need 1, more Temperio? Temperio, yeah. Yeah, that's rough. Does this pump straight into there? It does. Oh, that's pretty quick. Okay. And then we'll do... I guess we'll go like that. Turn this guy off. Mm-hmm. And we'll just feed it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need... What are those cauldrons called? A casting basin. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make seven of these guys. Uh huh. This isn't turned on, that's why it's not working. Boom. It does work. Ah! Okay, so that'll fill all those up. Oh, this is gonna be so much quicker and cheaper than the other way I used to do it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I could technically expand it, make it go even faster. But we'll be fine. And then I'm going to use a retriever and all these impulse item ducks to whitelist and pull these all in. Is it working? No. 
Why not? I might have to switch it to round robin. Oh, because it's not in the drawer in the house and I just broke everything. Okay, uh, fair enough. Uh, uh, okay, bed, rock, commit, go home, quick. I may have broke everything temporarily. Nice. Don't question it too much, though. Oh, and my FOV is so bad. Put it down here with this fancy one. Okay, problem solved. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's a lot of bitter hockey on. Is this one going? This might just be a visual glitch. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, I need a chunk loader. Okay. This is working real well. Is this good, keeping good. up, though? It's definitely keeping up. I could add, like, four more of these. This is good. This is going to be a fantastic source of EMC. And let's go ahead and set up our chunk loader, because we can just let this sit now and make our... Make us an absurd amount of bedrock game. How big what can this go? Ten? Nine? No we'll go in a circle. And that's a radius. Okay, so maybe a bit smaller. That's like a person sized chunk loader. Good. What's this giant mess of obsidian over here? That's where I was making the awakened draconium. Can I click? I might not be able to click on the yeah, chunk loader. Boom, there it goes. <laughs> um, hmm. What I got? Yeah, after seeing that, though, you might... Once we do add imaginary time blocks, you might have more than one Horn of the Wild in the middle here. Yeah, well then... Because it seems to randomly check. Good. Like, if you turn it off again and let everything grow real quick. And then you watch it once I put it back in. You'll see what I mean. Just give it, like, ten more seconds here. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, yeah. It doesn't do it, like, straight. So you yeah, can do it, like, it's just like a random one. Also, it's still missing this far side, so I think you just miscounted, but... Oh, no, because the tape measure said it's fine, but... Okay. I think my center was off, because it started to do some weird stuff earlier. The drumming is kind of cool, too. <laughs> We're going to have to yeah, use this in the future, because, like, early game farm, this was super cheap to make. Like, the advanced item collectors are super stinking easy. Advanced item collector. Yeah, look at this. Ender pearls, hoppers, obsidian. Nothing crazy at all. I don't think anyone, like, expects you to do this. And the Horn of the Wild is probably the hardest part. You just have to be towards the end game of Batania. What we've been since literally, like... Well, yeah, because it's one of the first things you have to do. They take like 8,000 Imperio stuff. Oh, uh, wait. No, they don't see. One sec. <laughs> they can't really see my desktop. Okay, now they see. And that's the beginning of the actual end game. So after that, we're going to condensers and all that good stuff. That'll be next time, though. I mean, that'd be a start because then we could just turn those bedrock uh, blocks I'm farming 